I think it's time for my talk. <laughs> uh, so uh, I talk about uh, uh, aesthetic uh, obfuscated artistic programming in Ruby. Uh, uh, this is uh, uh, my, uh, I will talk about uh, some uh, eccentric Ruby programs that I created. Uh, I'm so uh, nervous because this is my first Bitcoin talk and this is my English talk for the first time uh, in 10 years. But <laughs> Thank you. I'll do my best. Okay. Uh, first, uh, let me uh, introduce myself. I'm Yusuke Endo. And uh, my handle is Mame, M-A-M-E, -M -E, and my Twitter account is Mametta. And M-A-M-E -E pronounces uh, Mame, not Meme. Uh, <laughs> Mame means peas or beans in Japanese. Uh, many Japanese friends call me uh, Mame-san, uh, which corresponds to Mr. Bean. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I'm a committer of Matsubi uh, Mats Interpreter, MRI and I'll show uh, my contribution later. And uh, I'm now working at uh, Cookpad, uh, a company providing uh, uh, cooking, uh, cooking recipe uh, sharing service. Uh, Cookpad has employed two full-time uh, MRI committers, Koichi Sasada and uh, me. Uh, Cookpad will, uh, I would like to uh, contribute to Ruby 3.0. Uh, as you know, uh, Koichi uh, improves uh, performance for Ruby 3x3, three three, uh, also three times faster uh, than 2.0. And uh, my aspiration is to uh, make a Ruby program robust uh, by some approaches, uh, including uh, contribution uh, to design of uh, Ruby 3 type system and improvement uh, of code coverage measurement, and so on. Uh, here's my contributions for uh, so far. Uh, I contributed to Ruby for 10 years. I was a release manager for uh, Ruby 2.0, and I implemented some features, uh, including coverage GSO and keyword arguments uh, and uh, the drug detection of VR and so on. Uh, my recent contribution for Ruby uh, is the development of a Ruby benchmark program uh, called OptoCarrot. And uh, this is uh, an emulator of Nintendo Entertainment System written in Ruby. Uh, this uh, is uh, driving uh, some ZIT implementations, including MZIT, uh, Matt explained in his talk, uh, his, uh, his keynote, and YARB MZIT, uh, Kokubun san will talk uh, this afternoon. Uh, I also improved coverage uh, GSO so that it now supports uh, branch coverage. Uh, this feature will be included uh, in Ruby 2.5. How uh, about uh, this talk is not relevant to all of them. And so today, I, uh, I talk about uh, Ruby's potential power. Uh, I often hear uh, Ruby is easy to read and write. I guess uh, many people uh, here uh, believe so. But I can't help but say uh, it's incorrect. <laughs> Correctly, Ruby is just a lit, and its syntax is uh, so flexible, but too flexible. Uh, this richness and flexibility allow us to write an uh, easy to read code. Uh, so uh, if you write an uh, easy to read code, uh, your Ruby code is easy to read. Uh, conservatively, uh, we can also write uh, hard to read code um, in Ruby. <laughs> so today I abuse Ruby's power to write some extremely bad examples. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is an important caveat. Uh, you can expect nothing useful in this talk. <laughs> Do not confuse. Uh, I will not uh, to, uh, talk about such as uh, good and bad pattern in Ruby, but I will talk about this kind of program. <laughs> uh, this is a uh, Ruby, uh, complete Ruby code that contains uh, only simple letters. Can you read this? This is rather hard to read because it is not syntax highlighted. So I highlight the character, but sp uh, expect uh, space. Yeah. <laughs> Ruby Kong. OK, you read. You read. <laughs> you could read. Uh, this is a joke, but this is, uh, it is not a joke that uh, this is a complete program. OK, let's run. Mm. 
the code is, uh, and this is the code, and run it. Okay, hello, Ruby Kong. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay, uh, this is so just a Hello World uh, program. As you know, uh, Hello World is the most basic toy program. So I believe you, uh, you all uh, could read, read this, of course. Couldn't you? <laughs> okay, uh, from now, uh, I'll explain how I implemented this program. If you want to read uh, the code yourself, uh, this is a spoiler for your fun. Uh, please block your ears and seal your eyes, okay? <laughs> Do you want to hear? Okay, here we go. Uh, I created uh, this program by using three key techniques. Uh, how to make a, a number by using only symbols. And the second is uh, how to make a string. And uh, finally, uh, why, uh, how to print a string. I'll explain them in turn. First, uh, uh, and the first is uh, to, uh, how to make a number, an uh, integer, by using only symbol characters. Uh, in fact, it is easy. Uh, we have a string equal children method. You know, uh, uh, this method uh, matches uh, regular expression and returns the beginning index of the matched string. So, uh, this, mm, this code, uh, this regular expression matches the uh, end of uh, the string. So this code returns one, and this code returns two, and this code returns three. Uh, for making a big number, uh, you can just write a string uh, whose length is uh, your desired number, but uh, it is smarter to use calculation like this. And this uh, assigns two, uh, two uh, underscore, and two times two times two times two equal, uh, 16, for example. Okay. The next key is how to make a string. Uh, we can achieve this by using uh, numbers and uh, string append. Uh, the string append uh, treats an integer uh, as a code point, uh, or ASCII code. So by using this, you can get uh, any string you want. Uh, in this case, uh, for example, uh, 72 is a code point for uh, large H, and uh, 101 is for a small E, and, and so on. The, the final key is uh, how to print a, a created string. Uh, this is also easy. Uh, you can use uh, special, uh, okay, uh, so you can use uh, the special variable, uh, dollar greater than, uh, which is equi equivalent to uh, standard out. Uh, you can append uh, the, uh, the I.O., uh, the uh, string you created, uh, you generated. Okay, so by combining the, these three uh, techniques, uh, you can write a Hello World program by using only symbol characters. Uh, you start this, this program, okay, uh, and replace the uh, string literal. This string literal will be uh, to replaced uh, a code using uh, numbers and uh, symbols. And then uh, replace numbers uh, by using symbols like, uh, like this. This code, this uh, prepares one, and this prepares two. And uh, these uh, calculate uh, two numbers based on their binary representation. So uh, we can get a uh, high program uh, uh, in, uh, using only uh, symbol character. Okay, and this is uh, slightly off topic, uh, but uh, you may think, uh, can we write um, more complex codes than Hello World? Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, surprisingly, a great idiom is known to call evil method by using only symbols. And this is the, and this is the idiom. Uh, it has uh, some uh, string literals, but uh, we know the way to uh, replace them with symbols. So uh, this is, idiom is so great and interesting, but uh, too difficult for me to explain in it how it works in English. So please analyze it yourself later. Okay. Okay, uh, question two. Please open your eyes and unblock your ears. Uh, this solid column is also completed because, okay, zoom up here. Oh. 
on the alphabet. So uh, this is a 90, uh, 90 line Ruby code by using only alphabets. No symbols at all in this case. Okay, let's run. This is the code, and run it. Okay, hello world, <laughs> hello Ruby Conf, <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so again, this is a Hello World, Hello RubyConf program. Uh, programming language PAL is often criticized because it uses many symbol characters, but this program uses no symbol, so it should be more readable, I think. <laughs> Even do you need a spoiler? Can you read this? Okay, uh, this is spoiler. Uh, the, uh, this shows uh, the basic structure of the, the, uh, the code. Uh, initializes uh, variable s with any string object and uh, make it empty by uh, using string clear. And then and the same goes as uh, the previous symbolic hello world, so uh, concat numbers uh, as a code point. And finally, uh, this, put, this puts print it, uh, obviously, by replacing this puts with uh, eval. Uh, you can get, uh, you can easily uh, encode any your favorite uh, Ruby program in uh, on the alphabets. Then, but uh, we need to remove uh, some symbols. Uh, first, we try to remove uh, these periods. So I write this code. So please uh, focus the red frame. I write it. I wrap the uh, red part by uh, the method definition of storing who. Uh, by using open class. And uh, the last line, inspect the dot who, uh, calls the uh, method defined. Uh, by doing so, uh, the receiver of concat calls uh, are now safe. Okay? So, as you know, uh, we can omit self dot period. Uh, so, okay, uh, we successfully remove the period. But uh, there are still one period in the last line. How can we remove this? Uh, there are some uh, answers, but uh, I uh, choose uh, abuse uh, of four statement. Yeah, uh, Ruby still has four statement. Uh, I think Ruby's uh, four statement exists for this purpose. <laughs> it is a syntactic sugar uh, to call uh, each method. So replacing the method name, uh, uh, who with each, uh, uh, this, uh, this code works. So uh, we got a uh, high program uh, in only alphabets and numbers. Okay, the remaining task uh, is to remove numbers and uppercase uh, letters. But uh, it is too hard for me to in English, so leave it your, uh, your exercise. Okay, <laughs> exercise. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, um, I'm often asked why I uh, like uh, such a program. Uh, I have no special motivation, but if I have to uh, answer, uh, I'd like to know Ruby's power and its limit, and uh, to stress the interpreter with unusual Ruby code. And uh, some people ask, uh, also ask me uh, why it inspired me. Uh, I have a clear, clear answer to this question, uh, the esoteric languages what's so-called uh, esolang. Uh, I'll introduce them, uh, some of them briefly. Okay. Uh, you may have heard uh, the name brain, uh, uh, I can't read this, but uh, according to the uh, code of conduct. So, uh, but uh, I didn't uh, name it. So anyway, uh, this is the most famous esolang. Uh, it is a very small language uh, that consists of uh, just eight uh, instructions. Each instruction is correspond to their own uh, symbol letters. So, uh, hello world in brave fact looks like this. This uh, inspired me to create symbolic hello world uh, in Ruby. And uh, have, you ever read, have you ever heard uh, Chef? Uh, this is one, uh, also an uh, esolang. Uh, do not confuse it with uh, the famous uh, provisioning tool. Uh, this is an uh, historic language uh, where Programmers look like uh, cooking recipes. Ingredients 
but uh, corresponds to data selection and uh, method uh, is correspond uh, for a, uh, correspond to code selection. And if you are interested in Chef, please visit Cookpad. Cookpad is uh, one of the uh, world's mo uh, large largest recipe sharing platform. Uh, you can read many, many recipes that uh, others users created, and you can also submit your own uh, recipes. And uh, so visit Cookpad and find uh, my recipe, namely uh, Cheesecake in Chef. Uh, this is a program written in Chef that prints a string Cookpad. Also, it can be used as a real recipe. So you know, following the instruction, uh, you can enjoy a delicious cheesecake. So this is a polyglot program in, uh, written in Chef and also uh, written in English uh, recipe. Okay, anyway, uh, Chef and some aesthetic languages inspired me to create a Ruby code whose appearance is uh, funny. So I created this. It contains the earth, uh, a globe, uh, as an ASCIAT. Uh, the interesting part at, of this program is not only uh, its appearance, but also its behavior. So uh, I run it. Uh, this is the program, and run it, okay, rotate it. This uh, output is also valid Ruby code, so uh, we can run it by using a pipe like this, okay? <laughs> we are now here. And uh, repeating this process uh, eight, ti eight times Pacific Ocean and uh, Australia. Is there? Okay, uh, we can re we could return to the original source code. Uh, okay, so okay, uh, I call this program Globe, a uh, coin with spinning globe. Quine uh, is a famous uh, as Hacker's Delight. Uh, it is a program that prints uh, itself, uh, its source code. The program Chrome uh, is not a simple coin, uh, but requires eight lines to print the original source code. Okay, uh, this is a spoiler. Uh, this program involves uh, two uh, techniques. One is Quine, uh, self-reproducing program. And uh, the other is to make uh, program ASCIAT shaped. Uh, for both uh, Ruby's syntax, especially uh, percent notation, is very powerful to write them. Uh, I explain them in turn. First, uh, uh, it is very easy to write a coin uh, in Ruby because of uh, Ruby's percent notation. Uh, the almost program, uh, this program uh, is. Uh, uh, is uh, one string literal uh, uh, starting with uh, percent Q. Uh, this is a string literal. And uh, it is assigned to uh, a variable S and uh, evaluate it. And the evaluate string uh, is a code. And uh, this code first uh, reconstructs the original source code as string. And this string uh, prepends E bar space S equal uh, percent Q open panel. This is the same here. And uh, appends a closed panel. And, and this generated uh, code uh, becomes uh, uh, equivalent to the whole program. And, uh, and then uh, this program uh, prints uh, the reconstructed uh, source code. Before, uh, before this output, uh, we can anything uh, to make this program funny. For example, uh, we can overwrite the original source code with the rotate globe image. For this purpose, uh, the globe uh, uh, contains uh, full, globe, uh, full globe image data uh, as a string compressed by ZDIB. And the other is uh, to make the program a scat. It is also very easy uh, to save a Ruby code as you like. Uh, first, uh, write your code without uh, spaces and uh, <coughs> With that uh, black, uh, backslashes, then uh, wrap it with uh, this and this, 
uh, as you know, uh, percent W uh, is uh, generates uh, an array of string, and array join uh, method uh, merges them uh, into one string. So uh, this uh, idiom uh, removes uh, all spaces from the content. So finally, uh, we can insert uh, spaces into uh, your code part uh, as you like. Uh, for example, uh, like this square. Uh, when you run this code, uh, you will see hello world. Um, this technique is also highly depends uh, on highly depends uh, Ruby's percent notation. Okay, from now, uh, I show three uh, funny uh, clients I created. Uh, this is called coin delay. And this takes a few minutes to execute, so I don't uh, demonst uh, demonstrate this. But if you want to uh, see the demo, uh, please visit uh, my uh, Travis CI. Okay, and so I explain what is this. This is a Ruby code that generates Rust code, that generates uh, Scala code, blah, 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 that generates Lex code, and that generates the original Ruby code. So this is an um, Uroboros client that uh, requires 128 languages in turn. Uh, that, uh, this is a list of, of languages. It is in uh, alphabetical order. Uh, this client had just 100 languages at uh, last, last September, but I, put, I added 20, uh, 28 uh, languages for uh, this RubyCon talk. Okay, so I just a uh, brief spoiler. Uh, this ba uh, the basic structure of Kwan is the ex exactly same. And uh, instead of printing uh, printing itself, Kwan uh, creates uh, like code that prints it, and uh, uh, blah 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 generates uh, Scala code that prints it, and generates uh, last code that prints it. Uh, this part is not so difficult. Uh, for example, uh, you can easily write a Python program that prints your Ruby program. You have to just uh, uh, wrap your Ruby code as a Python string literal and uh, pass it to Python's, uh, Python's uh, print function. So uh, to create a query, uh, it is enough to uh, investigate how to print a string uh, in each language uh, except Ruby. So uh, repeating this process 127 times, you can create query. In fact, uh, this naive approach uh, will result in very big uh, intermediate source code. Uh, many, language in, many language interpreters are not so robust that uh, fail with big input. Uh, so uh, the actual query relay uh, uses many tricks to shorten the uh, uh, inter uh, inter uh, intermediate source code. And for example, uh, the code equips three uh, compression algorithms, and uh, I enjoyed uh, code work in all languages. Okay, uh, next, uh, this is a column-shaped object. By inspection, uh, you will see uh, a Ruby code inspected, <laughs> inscribed. Uh, when executing this code, uh, you will get 3D model data of this column. By sending the date to 3D printer, you can get this column. <laughs> you can buy uh, this column at. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, this is important. Uh, you can buy this column at cheap rates, about $65. <laughs> and this is a spoiler, and also an almost the same. Uh, instead of printing itself, uh, it generates uh, 3D model data that uh, embeds a string. Uh, for this generation, uh, this program contains uh, custom true type font data and its own renderer, a font renderer. And I made effort for shortening uh, the code length because this, uh, if this code is longer, the column is also longer, and the 3D printing fees will become more expensive. Okay. Uh, this is uh, today, uh, today's last program. Uh, I uh, call this uh, radiation hardened coin. Okay, let's run. This 
see the program and run it. Okay. So uh, this works just as a crane, normal crane. And this is not an important part. Uh, what is interesting is, okay, here, imagine. A three cosmic ray goes uh, through my machine and the memory cell for one character is corrupted or deleted. For example, please consider the first R uh, of rescue, yeah, uh, is deleted. Delete actually. Uh, copy the original source code to broken RB and edit it. Uh, this is rescue. Uh, uh, rescue's first R is deleted and saved. And then uh, ex execute it. Okay, it works. And the output is the ident identical to the original source code. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> Surprisingly, uh, the broken program is works, uh, program works and print the original source code. In fact, uh, you can delete any one character and the corrupted program uh, works correctly. So this is very robust coin. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. In other words, uh, even one memory cell is dead, this uh, program lives as whole. So this is a kind of homeostasis, uh, Chad said. <laughs> okay, uh, brief spoiler. Uh, this program contains error correction algorithm. Error correction algorithm. Error correction is achieved by redundancy. Uh, this is a basic structure of the program. Uh, it has your code twice redundantly. Uh, this is a trick. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, the actual program does not replicate the code literally, but uh, represents one uh, one as a hash number, but uh, the essential of this expression, uh, this uh, explanation, does not change. So we are now assuming that uh, corruption is at most uh, one letter deletion. The important observation is, uh, if one character in the two-string literals, uh, one character is uh, deleted, uh, uh, the longer one is not broken. So uh, we can just choose uh, lo the longer one and evaluate it. Okay, uh, the remaining program is, uh, sorry, uh, remaining program is uh, a character out of the two string literals is deleted. For example, uh, if uh, this uh, variable x is deleted, uh, it will raise syntax error. Uh, for this problem, I uh, found a custom great style that is robust for one letter deletion. Uh, I explain only uh, the first line. The first line is an assignment. Uh, I rewrote this, uh, this line uh, like this. Uh, even if uh, one letter is deleted, uh, this line guarantees uh, to assign to string, uh, including, including your code to um, variable eval. Eval is not a uh, method name. That yeah, here, now this is a uh, variable name. Or uh, if uh, uh, this e call is deleted, uh, this e bar e becomes a method call and uh, this, uh, this uh, string is evaluated immediately. So, uh, and this uh, code, this string has uh, exist at the end. So, uh, process will be uh, term uh, terminated. Uh, so I decorated uh, all lines uh, like this way and uh, made it fine. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I must what, uh, add one note. Uh, Cookpad service is robust, but its source code is not so bad like this talk. Thank you. Okay, uh, that's all. Uh, my English so paper. Uh, so I guess uh, you couldn't understand my talk. Uh, if you want to understand or see more uh, uh, my other programs, uh, you can buy my book, uh, The World of Obfuscated Aesthetic uh, Artistic Programming. Uh, it contains about four, uh, 40 programs, uh, like this talk. Unfortunately, it is written in aesthetic Japanese, <laughs> at most uh, currently. 
Okay, uh, related back. Uh, you may have heard uh, IOCCC, uh, International Obfuscated C Code Contest. Uh, this annual contest is for uh, how to read C language program. Uh, about uh, 10 hard, hard to read C programs uh, will be awarded. IOCC, IOCC is the longest uh, learning contest on the internet si since 1684. Uh, by the way, I won IOCC 12 times in total. <laughs> and uh, there is a, a similar contest for Ruby named TRIC, Transcendental Ruby Imbroglio Contest uh, for Ruby Kaigi. Uh, Ruby Kaigi is a Ruby Kong like event in Japan. And I'm a member of that team uh, of TRIC. Uh, we have held uh, TRIC twice. Uh, 2013 and 2015. Uh, I plan to hold uh, the final trick uh, contest for Ruby Kagi 2018. Uh, if you have interest, uh, please, please submit uh, your aesthetic Ruby code to us. I'll announce the detail of the contest at this GitHub repository later. Okay, uh, I conclude this talk. Uh, I'd like to say uh, Ruby is very, very rich, flexible, and great language. Uh, you can use Ruby with broken keyboards <laughs> so that you can stroke only symbols or uh, you can stroke only alphabets. All right, uh, you can write uh, artistic and super robust crime in Ruby. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And, uh, sorry, 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 uh, <laughs> this talk is not uh, ended. <laughs> and uh, instead of starting with uh, FAQ immediately, uh, I'd like to show a crane that is created for RubyConf New Orleans. Uh, let me show. Okay, this. Uh, this takes uh, five minutes to run. And this program somewhat depends on hardware, so I, uh, to avoid that trouble, uh, I created a captured movie. I'll show. This is a coin, but uh, it prevents uh, a dummy code that does, not, does nothing. This contains hash mark and semicolons. And this is a very good record that does nothing. What's this? This is a uh, set of here document. The delimiter is Rubicon 2017. Uh, Remember this? And uh, here, uh, this is just uh, here document. So it does nothing. By the way, uh, this program plays the uh, music. Uh, this is uh, almost the same with uh, some Aaron's uh, live coding mu music, but this program does not use uh, Super Collider. Uh, it contains the music score data in Parker's Capitalist Canon and synthesizes uh, a violin-like sound wave uh, based on um, uh, frequency modulation. And sending the block to a play, uh, alpha play command uh, that plays uh, sound later from uh, standard input. Okay, uh, I think I can answer one or two uh, questions for five. Any question? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to appreciate if you could ask, uh, ask me in simple, pr uh, plain, short English. The few is uh, better, few hours is better. Okay, any question? How long does it take time? Take uh, about one, one day, about. This <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, crap, crap, crap.
<laughs> Sorry, too loud. <laughs> I will upload uh, this uh, movie uh, to uh, YouTube. Hold on, let me see. You can uh, type <laughs> it <laughs> by, by seeing my movie. It is just a. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry? Like this? This? Ah, this. Ah. Okay, I, I will consider. <laughs> Thank you. Question. Uh, <laughs> and the, uh, uh, sorry, uh, I said it allows uh, the judges uh, themselves to submit uh, uh, their, uh, their own code to uh, trick itself. Uh, so I will uh, uh, create and submit the trick so I cannot answer this uh, here. It is secret. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. This coin colors the output by using terminal escape sequence. And escape sequences uh, are just normal ASCII code, so they can be included in Ruby code, Ruby, uh, valid Ruby source code. And this program removes uh, them before evaluate. And I uh, forget uh, comment. Uh, this is the uh, del uh, delimiter. So uh, end of here document. And, uh, So the next is uh, uh, real uh, Ruby code. Not uh, this one I use is uh, percent instead of uh, hash mark. This is not a comment. Can you read this? <laughs> Please analyze this. Yeah, analyze it yourself. And this three dot is range of range of range literals. <laughs> range, yeah. <laughs> Uh, eight and comparisons. And the code. <laughs> okay. No other question? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all. Thank you.